y'all. Welcome to Maddie's Kitchen. I'm cooking uh, some smothered pork chops. And here's my pork chops. It's assorted, all different kinds. I talked to the meat person at the uh, commissary, and they told me that when you're frying pork chops, you should have a little fat in it. And he also said, this right here, this is the part right there, that's a ribeye of the pork chop. He said, that little part right there is a ribeye. And he said, have a little fat. So I picked the one with a little fat because when you're frying the fat, going to come out. And if, if you was baking it or grilling it, you should have center cut. I mean, no fat, just the center, this part of here, the center cut. So what I'll be using for my pork, my fried pork chops, I'll be using pork chop, like I said. And you should use the one with the bone. See how the bone come around? That's better when you're frying it. Okay, I also will be using, uh, I'll be using uh, crisp oil for the pork chops. I'll be using some brown gravy mix, salt, pepper, also a little pepperica maybe. And this is chopped parsley for the decoration. And here's some chopped onions, finely chopped, chopped bell pepper, green pepper, finely chopped. And here's a sliced uh, onions. And also, this is some flour, which is self-rising flour. I mean, I never cook with plain, but I'm quite sure if all you have is plain, put a little salt in it and that'll be okay. Okay, I'll get back with you all. Okay, y'all, I'm going to start with my pork chops. I'm going to place them on this little platter. That's the best place. For and this pork chop is kind of big. You know, normally I, I don't kind of like big pork chop, but sometimes I do. And the reason is because it's one serving per person. So they can have one serving. You don't need to have two pork chops. This is pretty good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with... Uh, my seasoning, I take the, I'm gonna start with my seasoning. So I'm gonna put uh, some salt on here. This salt, put a little salt on here. I'm season it good, I don't put too much. And then you're gonna start with your pepper. Make sure you season all of it. Pepper. I don't wanna come out of here. Yeah, I hope y'all tune into my, uh, to my, uh, I did some stuffed bell peppers on my channel. Like I said, this is going on my kids' channel, the for sure. And the next thing I'm going to cook on my channel is some old-fashioned. I'll probably cook that one day this week, old-fashioned fried chicken. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this right here and rub this into, mash it in so it can season the meat. Always do that when you're cooking something. And it'll take, for pork chops, you don't need all of that stuff. I would put, I don't like putting garlic on meat because to me, it changed that. It just changed the, the taste of it, you know, if you put too much in there. And I might put a little paprika in here, just a little bit. Let me see. Open this up. Just a little bit. Because it did a kind of little face, a taste, just a little bit. I normally don't do this, you know. Because this is, like I said, this is a special di a dinner for Christmas. And what we do now, I didn't do this when it was coming up, but I see a lot of people putting hot sauce on it. And it's okay taste, so I'm going to put the hot sauce in just a little bit. Open that, shuck it up pretty good. I'm trying not to put too much. And if I put too much on there, I just take it and rub it in. So that's gonna look good. Yeah, so you need to season, don't season too much. And then I'm gonna turn it over and do the same thing after I mash this in. Okay, I'm gonna mash this in, see? Get ready to fry this pork chop. And the gravy is gonna soak into this pork chop, so sometimes, you know, you don't wanna overpower it. Make it salty, cause you can. If you have too much salt on food, you kind of ruin your food. So mash this in, and I'm gonna turn this over. I'm gonna do the same. I repeat the same thing. Turn it over. Do the same thing. And then, like I said, these are big pork chops, so you had to worry about. It. I can start with the salt. It don't matter what I start with. Pop that. Should have kept it in my hands, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed my stuffed pepper. They were so good. I got this. It's doing pretty good. Just go to Maddie's Kitchen and look at my pork chops. I'm, not, I'm sorry, my stuffed peppers. <laughs> I'm going to put some of this. I'm going to reverse. I put the pep salt first. I'm going to put just a little bit. Like I said, don't matter. And I'm going to mash this in the same way. Put a little salt on here. Just a little bit. I'm mash this in good. And it's going to season all the way through it. And it's going to put a little hot sauce on here. 
Uh, I think this was the hot sauce was the first season. And <laughs> he was born like when I was born. I'm 73. I was born in the 40s. And when I saw my, saw my mama cooking, I was a teenager. And we used hot sauce because we didn't have very much to use. And it did the trick. Okay, I'm going to get back with you. And I get ready to put it in the, in the skillet. I'm going to let this set for about five minutes so this season can go into it. Okay, then. Get back with you. Okay, y'all, I'm getting ready to put some grease in here. You know, look, I use Crisco. I hear people say things about it, but I don't think grease is grease. It says pure vegetable oil. I hope they're telling the truth. Because like it says, they don't put, you don't want to put too much in there. Just enough. Not that you don't want to cover your pork chop. Just enough to have half of it covered. So I'm going to let this get hot. And then while this getting hot, I'm going to... Uh, Season, so I'm do the same thing here because the seed, when you're putting it in here, just put a little um, the flour. I season the flour the same way so you can get that taste. I don't put too much because it's already on here, and I don't want your flour. You want your flour to taste good too. You don't want to be, but you don't overdo it. And you can taste this sometime. You can taste it and see how it is. It's solid now. This set up for about five minutes. I'm with that paper, it's set up for about five or ten minutes. My uh, pork chops did. I'm gonna put some in that. And what you do is you season it. See, mix the season up good. Make sure you mix it up good. Yep. In here. I could have not put none in here and it wouldn't have been, it would have been kind of bland a little bit, just a little bit. But so you're gonna put it in here and see, a little bit more. Huh? Okay, a little pepper record. And I'm, like I said, I'm used to measuring. I got out and cooked so many times and did this so much that I kind of, I can eyeball it and see what goes in there. Look at that's about enough. You don't want to do it too much. Okay, see, I'm going to um, I'm gonna let my grease sit got about another about five minutes to uh, warm up. And then I'll, you don't want it too hot. You want to just so put your stove on, like I got mine on high. And you can test it with one pork chop. Okay, I'm going to put this one in here. I'm going to put it in here and cover it real good with flour, seasoned flour. Like I said, I put salt, pepper, and just paprika in here. And some oil. It's a simple meal, but it's going to taste good when I season it up. And put this gravy on it. So shake your, uh, shake your pork chops out. And if you don't want to uh, mess up your... Uh, your uh, Stove, bring your stove, hold your hand, hold the uh, skillet with your left hand and bring it closer to your food so you won't mess up your stove. I'm going to put this in here. See? Okay, that's pretty good. Good time. Good time. I'm going to cut it down just a little bit. That was good. Put another one in here. These are kind of big. Like I said, I probably have to cook three at a time. Yeah. Because I want one serving. This is probably all one person will eat. I'm going to cut this down a little bit more. Okay. Okay, take the flour off of this. Like I said, bring it closer so you don't get flour. You're going to get some on there, but like I said, make it, when you're doing no work, uh, make work easy, not hard. You know, make it so you don't have to do all that cleaning up. And that's the most interesting. I'll take one of these. And I don't see which one is the smaller. Both of them big. Okay. I just put this one in there. <laughs> All of my big and this season the flour season and stuff. And you know how sometimes people cook they have so much flour on their stove until, you know, kind <laughs> of ridiculous. So I'm gonna take this, take all the power flour off, and bring this closer to the uh, to the skin of the meat, closer to the skin. I'm gonna let this cook. Uncovered, you can cover it up a little bit, but uncovered so because you want it to brown really good. And uh, you don't have to cover it. If you want to cover it, you can, but you really don't have to cover it. Put this here. I'm going to take this and move this to dry my set. And let it cook. It's cooking more on the side, so I'm kind of, you know, even it up. And sometimes pork chops, I can't stand that buckle up like that because when it buckle up, and sometimes it doesn't cook in the in the middle like, and I know you have seen that before. Some people cut them. I'm not gonna cut it. You can cut it if you want to. I don't like that. 
Okay, I'm gonna let this fry to uh, start browning a little bit, and I'm gonna get back with you. Yeah, all my pork chop is fried, and I cooked it. Like I said, I turned it twice. Let it cook because this is was kind of thick pork chop, and even if it's small, always cut the stove low and cook it on, turn it on both sides so it can be tender. If you cook it fast, if you ever had hard uh, pork chop, this pork chop is real tender, see? It's tender, real tender, because I cooked it slow and I turned it. And that's what you should do with pork. When you're frying pork chop, always cook it slow, turn it twice so you can make sure it's done. Okay, I'm getting ready to make my gravy now. Okay, y'all, here's the grease from the pork chops. You know, I took, and the crumbs is okay. And here's the leftover, I'm gonna use this for my onions. This is the grease from the pork chop. You know? When you're making gravy, you should, especially when you uh, got bread, a meat like breaded chicken, you're gonna make chicken gravy and breaded meat. You don't need as much grease or flour because for one thing, the, the, the flour from the pork chop is gonna make the gravy thicker too. So I'm gonna take some, you can use the same flour you had before, just put a little bit in there. You want the same amount of flour if you have, uh, cause this season, although it's pork chop, but it, was, it don't matter, it's the same amount. Just do it like this, right here. Until you get, and the crumbs gonna make it good, it don't matter. You can take them out if you want to, I'm gonna save mine, cause it might season the gravy some. So I'm gonna put a little bit more, uh, I'm gonna put some of this gravy mix, it's, uh, Brown, just any type of gravy because it's going to season it. And the reason I'm using this, I'm going to put some of this, going to thicken it too. Put some of this in there. And before I put these in there, I'm going to put, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot to do it. I'm going to put my onions in there to season it. See, I chopped some fine onions. It's going to make this gravy so good, y'all. This is going to do the gravy. You don't want to see it. You just want to let them cook and brown some, you know, your onions and your green peppers. cook some. I'm going to put all these in here because I want it to taste good. Huh? And if you think you got uh, too much, um, uh, it's not thick enough, you can add a little bit more grease in the water. I mean grease in my uh, flour. And I'm put my onions in here too. This is green peppers and onions just to season my gravy. And you always, when you're doing this like this, I make it taste better. That's all they're going to do. And uh, let it fry some. It don't matter. It seems like it's not uh, Enough flour, but you're gonna have to, I have to add a little bit more flour. And I'm gonna put a little bit more brown gravy in here to make this taste good. Pull this whole pack. Nothing but gravy, brown gravy. And then gravy, when you're gonna add, this is pepper, I'm putting the pepper in here. When you're gonna add a, let me get a, another spoon. Put some more, a little grease in here, just a little bit. Just a little bit, pull some of this in there, cause it's getting kind of thick. When you, um, no wonder my stove wasn't on. I was just wondering what was happening. I'm gonna let this fry, and let the, let the onions get a little soft, and the pepper get a little soft. Make sure when you season your gravy, you wouldn't know how much this make it taste, how much this, uh, with green peppers and onion make your gravy taste, and this, uh, Put some pepper in here. I'm gonna make it taste good, y'all. Yeah. Put a little flour in here, just a little bit more. Cause I might put it in just a little bit more. The, the, the rule of making gravy, have the same amount of flour as you have oil, grease or olive oil, uh, vegetable oil, any kind of oil you want. And start with some, uh, See, I got some warm water over here. It don't have to be that hot, but you can pour some warm water in here. So I'm gonna make this. I know y'all never seen gravy like this. And you probably ain't never taste none like this. This gravy be good. I'm gonna let this cook by slow. Set to the, mm, mm, mm. You should smell them green peppers, honey. Don't smell good. And like I said, this is, I'm, this, I'm cooking this for my children, for sure family. And make sure you tune, I made, um, this week I made some uh, stuffed bell peppers. Look at them. And like I said, this is the other meat for uh, Christmas that I have. In. You can have this still. Some people have ribs. Just have some pork chops, something different, something, you know, uh, reasonable price. Because this, like I said, so we're in hard times. So try to cook, you know, something that's good. It can taste good. Now, it don't matter what you cook as long as it tastes good. Season it up. 
Don't forget the peppers in the onion. Y'all can smell it. I wish you all could smell it. Let this fry just a few seconds to the onions and green pepper fry a little bit. Okay, y'all, I'm getting ready to pour some hot water. I had some water boiling. Pour it in there so it's, uh, because you just want it all. Pour a little bit at a time now. Can you get it, start cooking it. And this one look like that. It's going to let the um, meat, this going to be so good. I already know. But the hot water, and so the reason you use hot water, you can use cold. The package said cold water, but the reason you do use hot water, because you want, um, you want the, uh, the gravy to start cooking. So I could cook this start cooking with that hot water. Now, if you had to pour cold water in there, it would have took longer. See how that's coming? And I'm going to taste it. I got to put some more water in here, of course. And like I said, you can use this, you know, like if you cook rice for Thanksgiving. I mean, I'm sorry, Christmas. I'm still thinking about uh, my fall off the bone turkey. It was so good. Uh, when you're cooking, uh, 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 your, uh, you can use this gravy for uh, your stuffing if you want to, your mashed potatoes, and your uh, rice. That's what people cook for uh, thanks, Christmas and Thanksgiving every day, too. They just cook the rice and it's great. I'm gonna let it, you know, I gotta keep adding the water and let it cook. Side coming, still is a little too thick. I gotta put water in it. I'm gonna have to taste it. You might have to, the last thing you put in gravy is uh, uh, salt. Cause you have to have, if, it don't, if it's not salt enough, gravy don't taste good, I'm sorry. You gotta put some salt, you gotta taste it and make sure the salt it's, it's it tastes good because without salt, it's no gravy. This is coming, honey. This gravy looks good. I'm gonna let it cook a little bit more. I'm gonna put a little, of course, I'm gonna put a little more water in it, like I say, because it's getting uh, thick. And then that meat gonna thicken it up even more. So I'm gonna come back with you in about five minutes until it's thick in the way I want it. It's not good, my gravy. It look, you know, it's still, you know what? Although it looks really, really good, it looks like you want to eat it, but it's still a little thick because I'm gonna put some more water in. But what I'm getting ready to do now, see this grease that I use for my pork chop. Be careful now. Be careful with grease. I'm used to it. Um, you're gonna take and put uh, this in a skillet for your uh, uh, your onions because it's the same taste from the you know you use pork chop. Pour a little in here. You don't need that much. You just want it to start cooking. Get it, let it get hot, y'all, a little bit. And so, well, that's for your onion, your sliced onion. You want the same taste. I'm gonna put a little bit more water in here. A little bit more water, still thick. Let's see here, just a little bit. And like I said, I'm gonna have to taste this because, you know, you're adding so much water, you don't want it to taste bland. But these peppers, see how they're cooked away, and you can't hardly see them? It does. It they just, honey, y'all better start cooking with some peppers and onions if you want good food and stop all of that dry seasoning. You don't even know. It's, this is really good. Look at that gravy. See how pretty that gravy look? I got it cooked up a little bit more. So I'm going to start with my onions, okay? In fact, I'm going to switch over here. I'm going to switch sides. So and put this here. It seems like it's so big, but I'm gonna put it here so I can deal with this better. Put these onions in here so they can cook, fry a little bit. You just wanna fry a little bit. Like I said, this is the grease from the pork chop. You, you wanna taste it. You don't want no butter. Cause this gonna season these uh, onions up. I, need a, I might need another pan, a bigger pan, cause this is kinda small. Okay, y'all, my gravy is like I wanted. I'm gonna cut it down. I'm probably gonna have to add a little bit more water. You see how these uh, onions are? That's how your onions should look. Put that little grease and you just want to, you don't want them to be too hard and you don't want them to be too soft. You want to taste them. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put a little onions in here. Probably. I'm going to save some. Put a little onions in here. This is so good, honey. I taste this gravy. My God, it's good. Okay, put a little bit in here. And now I'm going to add my pork chops. See, I'm going to take this, put it in here. You don't let it stand alone. Put it in here and cover it. Put this one here. You kind of put the worst one in there because the gravy. Because sometimes they don't fry as good as you want to. But, honey, it's not the frying. It's the taste. So you're going to put this in here and let them sit for about a good five minutes on top of the stove. And uh, I'm going to taste this gravy. Side taste. Mm 
It tastes. I don't know. Oh Lord, them uh, green peppers and onion. It did it. Mm. It's so good. I need just a little pepper, just a little bit. Maybe a little salt, maybe. Maybe just a little bit, because like I said, you had that gravy. And so, mm -mm. see, this is it. This is some, some smothered pork chops. How good it look, y'all? Okay, I'm getting ready to put this on a plate. Cut it off. You don't want it cooked so long because you want your gravy. See, once you put it in there, you don't want it cooked. You don't want the pork chop to start um, uh, boiling. You just want it to simmer a little bit. And so you can have a Saudi pork chop look. Oh my God, that looks so good. And that green pepper. See that? Oh Lord, I don't want to drop it because I have. I'm still gonna eat it if I drop it. <laughs> See how that look? That is so good, y'all. And this is the other meat for um for um uh, Christmas. You know the pork chop. Do this right here, y'all, and make it good. Put them green peppers in there and cook it like I did. I'm gonna set this aside and I'll beep and I'm gonna fix the plate. Thank you all for uh, uh, tuning into my presentation for, like I said, this is a good little dish for um, Christmas, you know, a side, like I call it the other meat for Thanksgiving, for Christmas. I keep wanting to say Thanksgiving, but it's the other meat for Christmas or Thanksgiving or any Sunday dish. Like I say, please don't forget to uh, uh, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and when I cook something else, you'll know that it's there. Thank you and have a great day.